Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to gross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord, Ado Please, Lord our God, or Adonai Elohim, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for, for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Bless you, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May, may Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Judges 4, 4 through 5, 31. <coughs> now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lepadoth, was judging Israel at that time. She was used to sit under the palm of Deborah between Ra Brahma and Bethel, in the hill country of Ephraim. And the people of Israel came up to her for judgment. She sent and summoned Barak, the son of Abinam, from Kadesh Naphtali, and said to him, Has not Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, commanded you, Go gather your men at Mount Tabor, taking ten thousand people from the Taking ten thousand people of Naphtali and the people of Zebulun, and I'll draw out Sisera, the general of Jamin's army, to meet you there by the river Kishon with his chariots and his troops, and I'll give him into your hand. Brock said to her, If you will go with me, I will go. But if you will not go with me, I will not go. And she said, I will surely go with you, nevertheless. The road on which you are going will not lead to your glory, for Yahweh will sell to Sarah into the hand of a woman. And Deborah rose and went with Barak to Kadesh. And Barak called out Zebulon and Naphtali to Kadesh, and ten thousand men went up at his heels. And Deborah went up with him. <coughs> Now Heber the Kenite had separated from the Kenites the descendants of Habab, the father-in-law of Moses, and had pitched his tent as far away from the, as far away as Oak, in Zananim, which is near Kadesh. When Sisera was told that Barak the son of Abinamab, Abinoam. <laughs> had gone up to Mount Tabor, Cicero called out all his chariots, 900 chariots of iron, and all the men who were with him, from Horosheth Hagoyim, the river Kishon. And Deborah said to Barak, Up, for this is the day in which Yahuwah has given Cicero into your hand. Does not Yahuwah go out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor with 10,000 men following him, and Yahweh routed Sisera and all his chariots and all his army before Barak by the edge of the sword. And Sisera got down from his chariot and fled away on foot, and Barak pursued the chariots and the army of Horosheth Hogoyim, and all the army of Sisera fell by the edge of the sword. Not a man was left. But Sisera fled away on foot to the tent of jail. The wife of Heber the Kenite. <coughs> For there was a peace between Jabin the king of Hazor and the house of Heber the Kenite. And Jael came out to meet Sisera and said to him, Turn aside, my lord, turn aside to me. Do not be afraid. She so he stepped aside to her, into its tent, and she was covering him with a rug. And he said to her, Please give me a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. So she opened a skin of milk and gave him a drink and covered him. And he said to her, Stand at the opening of the tent, and if any man asks you, Is there anyone here? Say no. But Jill and the wife of Heber took a tent peg and took a hammer in her hand, and she soft, she went softly into him and drove the peg into his temple until he went down into the ground while he was lying fast asleep from weariness. So he died. And behold, Barak was... Pursuing Sisera, Jayla went out to meet him and said to him, Come and I'll show you the man of whom you are seeking. So he went into her tent and lay, and there lay Sisera dead, with the tent peg in his temple. 
So on that day, Elohim subdued Jabin, the king of Canaan, before the people of Israel. And the hand of people of Israel pressed harder and harder against Jabin, the king of Canaan, until they destroyed Jabin, king of Canaan. They sang Deborah, Deborah in Barak, the son of Benoam, on that day. That the leaders took the lead in Israel. That the people offered themselves willingly. Bless Yahweh. Hear, O kings, give ear, O princess, to Yahweh I will sing. I will make melody to Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel. Lord, when you went out from Seir, when you marched from the region of Edom, the earth trembled, and the heavens dropped. Yes, the clouds dropped water. The mountains quaked before Yahweh, even Sinai before Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel. <coughs> In the days of Shemgar, son of Anath, in the days of jail, the highways were abandoned, and travelers kept to the byways. The villagers ceased in Israel. They ceased to be until I arose. I, Deborah, arose as a mother in Israel. And when new gods were chosen, then war was in the gates. Was shield or spear to be seen among 40,000 in Israel? My heart goes out to the commanders of Israel, who offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless Yahweh. Tell it, you who ride on white donkeys, you who sat on rich carpets, and you who walk by the way. To the sound of musicians at the watering places, there they repeat the righteous triumphs of Yahweh, the righteous triumphs of his villagers in Israel. Then down to the gates march the people of Yahweh. Awake, awake, Deborah, king. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake. Break out in song. Arise, Brock, lead away your captives, O son of Abenoam. Then down marched the remnant of his noble. Of the noble. The people of Yahweh marched down for me against the mighty. For from Ephraim their foot they marched. No, root. From Ephraim their root they marched down into the valley, following you, Benjamin, which are kinsmen. From Mishkar, marched down to commanders, and from Zebulun, those who bear the lieutenant's staff, the princess of Ishikar, came with Deborah. And Ishikar, faithful to Barak, into the valley they rushed at his heels, among the clans of Rumen. And there they were great searchings of the heart. Why did you sit among the sheepfolds to hear the whistling for the flocks. Among the clans of Rumen there were great searchings of heart. Gilead stayed beyond the Jordan, and Dan, why did he stay with the ships? Asher sat still at the coast of the sea, staying by his landings. Zebulun is a people who risked their lives to the death, Naphtali too, on the heights of the field. The kings came, they fought, then fought the kings of Canaan and Tanakh by the waters of Megadu. They got no spoil of silver from heaven, the stars fought from their courses, they fought against Sisera. The Torah and Kishon swept them away, an ancient Torah, the Torah and Kishon, march on, my soul, with might. The loud beat of horses' hoofs with galloping, galloping of his steeds. Curse Marah, says the angel of Yahweh. Curse its inhabitants thoroughly, because they did not come to the help of Yahweh, the help of Yahweh against the mighty. <laughs> Most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite. Of twin dwelling women, most blessed. He asked her for water and she gave him milk. She brought him curds in a noble bowl. She sent her hand to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's mallet. She struck Sisera, and she crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. Between her feet he sank, he fell, he lay still. Between her feet he sank, he fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. Out of the window she peered, the mother of Sisera wailed through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the hoofbeats of his chariots? 
His wisest princesses answer. Indeed, she answers herself. Have they not found the divided and divided the spoil a womb or two for every man? Spoil the dyed material for Sisera. Spoil the dyed material embroidered. Two pieces of dyed work embroidered for the neck as spoil. So may all your enemies perish, O Yahweh. But your friends be like the sun as he rises in his might. And the land had rest for forty years. <laughs> Blessed art thou, Adonai Elihinu, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and said everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver the Torah, Brukata Adonai Elihinu, Malach Alom. Asunata Nalu Tereni Met Baishi Alom Natabata Kenyu Brukata Adonai Natina Torah.